Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management, and we're continuing with inventory. In this session, we're going to be working on calculating safety stock. And I know that I say part one because safety stock is a long thing to talk about, so we're going to do it in two parts. Let's get started. As we recall, inventory has costs associated with it in terms of holding on to it, as well as capital cost, which means if money is tied up in inventory, we can't use it for anything else. We also know that if we don't have enough inventory, it could cause a disruption in our manufacturing because we may not be able to have enough inventory to manufacture goods, or we won't have the product to provide customers with, you know, so we won't be able to meet demand. So what we have to figure out is how much safety stock to keep. To do this, we need to understand a few terms. First is stock out. Stock out means that we are not able to meet demand. It's just not there. It's not on the shelves. It's not in the warehouse. Another term, the cycle service level, sometimes just called the service level, is that the probability that we will not run out of items. So the probability that there will not be a stock out is our service level. And safety stock, which is a term I've used before, is just extra inventory that we hold on to beyond what we expect to use. When we go about calculating safety stock, we tend to make the following assumption, and that is that the lead time demand can be represented by the normal distribution. And it's represented by using the mean of that distribution and its standard deviation. So we'll actually get two terms when we're thinking about safety stock. We'll get the lead time demand, which is the average amount we're going to use, and the standard deviation of the lead time demand, which represents the variation in demand. And when we think about service level, it's the probability that the amount we use is actually going to be less than or equal to the amount we have on hand, which is our reorder point, which also means that our service level equals one minus the probability of running out, the probability of a stock out. So if we take a look at that normal distribution, you'll recognize the standard bell curve, but we're going to add a few things to it. The center line of this curve is the average amount that we use. This is our lead time demand. This is what we expect to use during the time we place the order to the time it's received. But there's also the probability of a stock out. And what we need to do is we need to have extra inventory, which becomes our safety stock, to prevent the probability of a stock out. So if the red area is our probability of a stock out, then the other area, the light green area, is our service level. Because if you recall, the entire area under the curve equals one, so one minus the probability of a stock out is our service level. So what we do is to calculate that extra inventory, our safety stock, sometimes known as I sub S or I sub safety, we need to use the standard deviation, and we're trying to figure out how many standard deviations above the mean, which is our Z statistic. So when we get to our reorder point, we're going to have our lead time demand plus that safety stock. So our safety stock equals the number of standard deviations above the mean, so that our lead time demand plus our safety stock equals our reorder point. And so that entire area under the curve, not the red part, is our service level. So to recap, our service level is our probability that the amount we use is going to be less than or equal to our reorder point. And our service level equals at one minus the probability of a stock out. So to determine our safety stock, we're going to need a value for Z because we need to know how many standard deviations above the mean. So we're going to have to use either a normal distribution table or Excel. My preference is always for Excel because it's a lot easier to plug in the numbers, use the formula, and get your calculation for Z as opposed to looking up tables. So the formula we're going to use is norms inverse, N-O-R-M-S-I-N-V, and we're going to input 
the probability of not having a stock out, which is their service level, and that will give us our Z statistic. So our safety stock becomes Z times the standard deviation of the lead time demand. Now sometimes we already know the safety stock and the standard deviation of lead time demand, and we need to calculate what the service level is. So we need to work backwards. In this case, if we know the safety stock and the standard deviation of the lead time demand, our Z equals our safety stock divided by that standard deviation. And once we know the Z statistic, we can again use a table or Excel to calculate the service level. So our service level equals the norms distribution, N-O-R-M-S-D-I-S-T, of our Z statistic once we use Excel. So let's do a problem. Jordan is trying to figure out how much extra inventory of cables to keep. During the past year, the mean lead time demand, LTD, for the cable was 105 with a standard deviation of 12. Jordan would like to maintain a 90% service level. So what is the recommended safety stock? What is our reorder point? And if Jordan keeps 20 cables safety stock, what is the service level? So here you see that we have a value for our mean lead time demand of 105, and we have a standard deviation of 12, and we're trying to maintain a 90% service level. Using this information, we can calculate the safety stock. We're going to calculate the Z statistic and then multiply it by the standard deviation of the lead time demand. Going into Excel, we're going to use the norms in formula and use 90% as our service level to get a Z statistic equaling 1.28. So we calculate the safety stock, 1.28 times 12, and that's 15.37. We always round up when we're dealing with safety stock. So 15.37 becomes 16. So our reorder point is our lead time demand plus the safety stock. So we knew the lead time demand is 105. We add to it the safety stock of 16. So we get a total of 121. So when we're thinking about it, we're watching the inventory. As soon as we get down to 121 cables in inventory, we place our order for a new set of inventory. Now, let's say Jordan wants to keep 20 on hand. How does that safety stock of 20 mean in terms of our service level? So now that we know that the safety stock is 20, we can go backwards and calculate the Z statistic. Safety stock divided by the standard deviation of the lead time demand is 1.67. Now we use the N-O-R-M-S-D-I-S-T, norms distribution function within Excel using Z of 1.67, and we find out that the service level is 0.9522. So holding a safety stock of 20 is going to increase our service level. The more safety stock you have, the higher your service level will be. Now in our next session, we're going to figure out how to calculate the standard deviation of lead time demand. Sometimes it's not given. Sometimes we just know that there's a variation in demand, and sometimes that there's a variation in both the lead time and the demand. So we'll cover that in the next session. I'll see you then.